Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, today talking about Bitcoin blockchain and live again in a walk and talk here through nature in the beautiful Portugal, it's the south of Portugal, the Algarve guys, I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin price, I'm going to talk about uh, a lot of news that I read about banks, and also I'm going to talk about some news that I read of Banks and Hunter Biden. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about way more. Um, so keep on watching the video all the the end, guys, because I will do the TA at the end. There's three charts that I want you to see. Um, you can also skip the whole cool part and just go there. But then you will never understand why you should be in Bitcoin. So, yeah, skip this first part. Ah, not so good. Watch it till the end, guys. Now, the first news that I read, it's like a week ago, is that in Australia and many other countries, uh, the banks are limiting the cash withdrawals. So you used to be able to withdraw as much as possible as you want, but now you can only withdraw like thousand Aussie dollars or like thousand US dollars or thousand euros. They are also, the governments at the same time, are limiting the amount of cash that you can use at stores. So like, for example, in the Netherlands, uh, the max uh, in cash that you can pay is 3000 euros. So I don't know the exact numbers of the rest of the world, but I do know that many countries are now having these laws that you can't use as much as you want. So you can't use 20,000 euros in cash or dollars in cash to pay for a car. They limit it. So that's the first news I've been reading, like, why the fuck would you put money in a company or a bank account of which you know that they will limit you to use it? So your money, your hard-earned money that you earn, you're willingly putting in an account of a bank of which you know that they will limit you to use it. You can't use it anymore the way you want. Well, if you keep it in cash, you can use it the way you want. You can do whatever you want with it. If you just keep it at home in cash, you can do whatever you want with it. So if you're afraid to keep it at home in cash, you could like exchange it into Bitcoin. It's the same as cash, but then digital. So nobody can rob you from it in a way like uh, physical cash at your home. Not that easy. So why wouldn't you then store your value in Bitcoin? Because then you can have both advantages like of the banking system having your money digital and two you're able to spend it worldwide on whatever you want whenever you want and you can travel with it wherever you want whenever you want but that was the first thing that i struck my mind is that how can people still trust those banks of their money while people know when they deposit it there um, they don't have any saying about it anymore so then the second article that i read makes me even more afraid because the second article is about that now in the UK, the biggest banks are legally allowed to check their customers' social media. So and now even in Australia, the news came that the banks are now allowed to also check the social media of the Australian customers and the UK customers. So which means when you apply for a bank account or when you have a bank account and they check your social media, and they find stuff that they don't like, that you're talking about the bank's negative or whatever, they can close your bank accounts or limit your withdrawals or whatever the fuck they want. So, <clears throat> in short, I will never be able to have a bank account anymore because my social media is completely full with complaints. But I think it's legit complaints that I'm allowed to do because it's true. They are limiting you to use your money in a way you want. So we should be able to tell them through social media, because the mass media won't pick it up, that we don't think that is normal. But now there is the time, and I can see it in the article over here, that there is banks controlling your social media. Now, so we have one entity that creates money, that's called the central bank. Then we have another entity that's called the normal bank, that's, uh, that is like checking your social media accounts. So what does it sound like to you? That's my question. What, what does it sound like? What I mean is, doesn't it sound like, fly on my camera, doesn't it sound like social credit system? 
like a social control by the banks and a credit system by the banks and then the central banks they create money they give you the money but then the other banks they say okay you're not good on social media so we freeze your money again is this not like a form of digital prison do i see it different than you do i see it am i the strange dude here that really doesn't understand fuck about the financial system am i the guy that's like ah you're a conspiracy theorist or am i the guy like i can see one on one is two do you agree with me do you do you even agree with me do you even understand that the moment you get your salary onto your bank account they determine if you can get access to that money yes or no do you understand that and if you understand that why the fuck are you still doing that and if you understand that why would you now allow your banks also to scroll through your social media and see whatever you're doing there it's it's like they see your social media and they see like ah i'm thinking about buying bitcoin and that yeah, give a cross at this guy that wants to buy, buy bitcoin soon uh, freeze his account i think about buying a house in the uh, foreign countries or open a bank account somewhere online and freeze the account You're, like it's not going to be like that but that's the possibility technical possible so i would not say too fast that it's never going to happen because when something is technical possible and the law says they are allowed to scroll your social media and freeze your bank account when or limit your bank account withdrawals when they suspect some negative things that is the end of uh, the banking industry, in my opinion. That should be the end of the banking industry. And you should be withdrawing all your money from those banks. Because that is like, that's the most fucked up thing you can do. Have your money in such a system that will completely control you. <clears throat> but then again, guys, we have the other system, which is also the banks. But that's the banks for the presidents. You know, they have other rules that we can see now in the news that's coming out from Hunter Biden. Yeah, they have different rules. They can money launder money from China and other countries. And they have like 170 times done that. And the banks even said 170 times, look, this seems like money laundering. This seems like not legit. This seems a little bit strange. Like a bank account that normally had a max of 50,000 US dollars, normally an average 10,000 US dollars, get a deposit of 3 million US dollars from China from a Chinese company and that three million dollars from there that bank account goes to another LLC that's the shell company that the Biden, Biden family has and goes then another company another company and that's like how four Biden family members receive three million um, US dollar from China without paying taxes without doing anything um, and that's legal so th th that is allowed so is this the same bank that you're banking at or do you have different rules? Do other rules apply on, on these Biden family members because they are presidential? <laughs> like, we can't even consider him as a president. He can't walk or drive a bike or he can't do anything. He can't even walk on stage, he will fall. You know, it's like not a president. That's a disgrace for, for America. But they have different rules than you have. They can do whatever they want. If you would have done like 1% of what they would have done with the bank account, your bank account would have been frozen. You would have never been allowed to open a new bank account. You would have never been having access to anything else of your money that is there. You would be like, bam, deleted. But they are allowed to do this 170 times. The article links are down below. You can see it all. It's, it's all coming out now. And, and, and I'm still thinking, how can I convince my followers? I'm going to turn around to understand this financial system and to just not be all in bank system, but be all in Bitcoin. What makes you so afraid to hodl Bitcoin? Is it really that volatility? Is it really that it goes up and down, but an average only going up? I can't believe that people still don't understand that it's a short-term volatility going up, down, up, down, but an average, it only climbs. So yes, if you have only 10,000 US dollar in it, then yes, oh, I need those 10,000 US dollar every month. So yeah, oh shit, now it's 7,000. Yeah, now it's 12,000, now it's 5,000. Oh, now it's 20,000. I can understand if you have 10,000 US dollar in Bitcoin, that would be a scary roller coaster feeling. But let's be honest, honest, if you're all in Bitcoin, like your overvalue of your house, your house, everything else you own, and it's uh, maybe 100K, 
then that doesn't matter anymore because you would only be using a few K per month and the rest is a little bit volatile, but it is increasing because you can see from the beginning of Bitcoin till now, we have only been increasing and we will only be an increasing because there is a halving coming from and the halving will be now in April 2024. And that halving means that the Bitcoin price on that moment again explosively will go up. And, and why? Because the miners from that moment will only earn 50% of what they were used to earn. So the Bitcoin price needs to be 50% higher for them to still break even or make profit like they were doing before the Bitcoin mining halving. So that's why one of the reasons is that you should be understanding that four year cycle, the halving cycle, but also understand that there is only 21 million Bitcoin. So for me, it's very simple. I trust my money in Bitcoin. I trust technology. I trust mathematics. I trust Bitcoin miners all over the world. I don't trust banks that have a certain rule, but that rule doesn't apply to everyone. Not to the president or not to them or not to them, but yes to us. So yes, banking system is done for me and it should be done for you as well. Now I have some amazing charts that will explain to you why at the moment you should also be in Bitcoin. It's not only the banking system, it's something else. But you will see that on the next couple of charts here, bam. This is the first chart, guys. This is the balance price. And I've been showing you uh, this chart already for years and telling you to buy around these levels. Uh, but this chart, again, is confirming how simple it is. If you would have bought around $2, that was when the price hit the balance price. If you bought around $220, again, that was the price hitting the balance price. $3,400, again, that price was hitting the balance price. And now, again, $15,900, the price was hitting the balance price. Is it now too late? It's not too late because we just started to bounce off that balance price. Look to the previous bull runs, how far we took a distance from that balance price before it was too late. The balance price is still going vertical while it should go up in the bull runs and then increase with the price as well. So you're not too late, you're just on time. You could have bought cheaper, but uh, you will be buying way more expensive if you wait a little bit longer. Now, the next chart that I want to share with you is a very important one because this one is showing you why it's so important that you don't need to trust that fiat system anymore, but you should be trusting Bitcoin. This chart shows you that 75% of the Bitcoins are in control of the long-term holders, which means 75% of the Bitcoins out there are in control by you, me, and all the other Bitcoin fanatics. Yes, BlackRock can enter this industry. Yes, Vanguard and many other institutional investors can enter this industry, but they will be the minority because already 75% of the Bitcoins is in control by us. And that is the important part, that 75% is in control of the people and not that rich part. Only when you sell your Bitcoins to them, they will be in control of that part. But till that moment, the people rule. And that's exactly the opposite of the normal fiat system where the banks and the vanguards and the black rocks rule. This is the moment in history that we can turn around this whole thing we can take control of the money supply again instead of those companies just think about it it's very important to understand just think about it we are in control do we want to give away this control right now again to vanguard blackrock and all these institutional investors or to the banks that again will limit the use of Bitcoin, that again will determine when you can send and where you can send your Bitcoins, that again will scroll to your social media and say, ah, eh, that he can't use his Bitcoins anymore. Is that what you wanna do? I don't think so. I do think that you understand me. I do think that you also believe what I say. And I do think you are going to change your mindset about this. At the end, withdraw all that cash from your bank account and put it into a currency like Bitcoin that you have full control on. You should be doing this. You've been following my videos now such a long time. 
please do that or come to the Bam Bam Beach Bar where we'll educate a little bit more about this system <laughs> while we have a drink or come today to the hotel um, in Albufera that we are going to build with the crypto community. It's already built but it's going to be finished by the crypto community. Really cool project. Today there's a barbecue and beers. It's from five to whew, i don't know i think the tickets already sold out but if you want to come you can always come and just you know we will never say no but maybe there's not enough food for you guys i hope guys you really enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell let me know down below what you think about it what do you think about what is happening with the social credit system the banks allowing um, to scroll through your social media. Uh, what do you think about the fact that Hunter Biden is allowed to do stuff with bank accounts that you're not allowed to do? What do you think about these Bitcoin prices and what do you think about the rest? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!